There was a time when the idea of sustainable fashion conjured up visions of unattractive, scratchy garments. Thankfully, a growing number of companies are defying that perception. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover Louis Vuitton's luxury sneaker made with corn. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. When it comes to shopping, whether it's organizing clothes swaps with friends or investing in timeless, transitional pieces, there are some methods we can use to make our wardrobes more environmentally friendly. When we're ready to part with our beloved clothes, there are a number of high street projects that allow us to recycle them. When it comes to purchasing new items, however, several businesses are working to reduce the industry's carbon footprint while also implementing ethical methods all without sacrificing design. Some companies choose fabrics that are more environmentally friendly, such as recycled materials or natural fabrics that biodegrade at the end of their life cycle. Others seek to lower their carbon footprint by slowing down and minimizing manufacturing, such as making products to order or in very small batches. In any case, the true test of whether or not a piece of clothing is actually sustainable is how much you love and wear it. Following years of pressure from campaigners and rival luxury labels, Louis Vuitton has entered the sustainable fashion industry for the first time. The fashion brand revealed that its new Charlie sneakers will be made of 90% recycled and bio-based materials and will be sourced from maize, putting a Louis Vuitton design in the forefront. LV used a new, sustainable substance called Biopolioli, a corn-based plastic, into the Louis Vuitton shoes, which will make its market debut. In terms of sustainability, the company's Charlie sneakers will outperform all of its present offerings. Corn-based shoes have also achieved a number of achievements in the field of sustainable footwear. The shoes' laces are made entirely of recycled fiber, while the soles are made entirely of recycled rubber. Along with Biopolioli, Louis Vuitton used Econil, a renewable nylon fabric, to produce the tongue batch. Consumers will soon be able to buy the brand's most environmentally friendly shoe, which also appears to be its first unisex design, and comes packaged in recycled cardboard. Although Louis Vuitton has been chastised for delaying the implementation of a fur ban, the luxury fashion business has been working on more sustainable designs and production techniques in recent years. The company performed a life cycle analysis last year to establish the best way for increasing its sustainability. The Charlie shoe is the first result and it was released on November 12th. This allowed us to identify the levers to reduce the environmental impact of our shoes. Louis Vuitton Global Head of Sustainability, Christelle Capdupoy said to WWD, the Charlie is the result of all this scientific, technical work that has been done. In 2019, Louis Vuitton began using upcycling programs for its fashion collection, and since then, it has stepped up its efforts to achieve the sustainability requirements set forth by its parent company, LVMH. Across its production and business sectors, the company plans to move to 100% ethically sourced products and 100% sustainable energy. It's not easy to change the way we do things, she said. At some point, it's very interesting to test yourself on a product. The charity is the result of a collaboration between marketing, the environmental division, our production site in Italy, and our suppliers. It's allowed us to test and source the most ambitious raw materials in terms of environmental impact, and now we're learning. Vegan footwear is fast gaining popularity across the board. According to Future Industry Insights, the vegan footwear market is worth $24 billion and is expected to increase at a 7.2% compound annual growth rate CAGR, during the next decade. New startups and tech businesses are developing sustainable materials that are being embraced by established companies like Adidas and other fashion giants like Gucci and Chanel, resulting in an increase in the manufacture of sustainable footwear. Adidas and Nike, among others, have blazed the path for ecological and vegan footwear outside of the premium fashion industry. Nike teamed with Anana Sanam, a sustainable material firm, earlier this year to add the Pinatex to several of their signature styles. The Happy Pineapple line includes five different shoes made entirely of pineapple-derived vegan materials. The Nike Air Max and Air Force Ones are two legendary designs that were just re-released in tropical colors. According to a new survey by Future Market Insights, demand for vegan footwear is increasing as more buyers seek environmentally and animal-friendly solutions. Millennial and Gen Z customers are also more likely to spend more on sustainability in the fashion business, according to the survey. Keeping in mind shifting preference of consumers, most companies are expected to focus on sustainability. Some of them will also include plant-based materials for manufacturing shoes to gain competitive advantage. An FMI analyst said, The charity sneakers from Louis Vuitton cost $1,080 from the low-top version and $1,130 for the high-top version. 
The sneakers are the brand's first foray into the vegan footwear market, but given its general dedication to sustainability, buyers may expect a sustainable luxury shoe line in the future years. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.